interesting example of the principle of mathematical induction that I think would be very helpful involving the Fibonacci sequence. So the Fibonacci sequence we define as the first one being one, f of one is one, f of two is also one, and then after that f of n is the sum of the previous two, f of n minus one plus f of n minus two. And the Fibonacci sequence has tons of interesting applications in the real world. You should Google it, look it up, also, there are a lot of fun number theory statements and formulas that you can derive with the Fibonacci sequence, and it makes it great for examples of induction. So for example, here, my proposition is, look, if I add up odd Fibonacci numbers, I mean odd term, f, f of 1, f of 3, f of 5, all the way up to f of 2n minus 1, I get an even index Fibonacci number. So I get another Fibonacci number, and it's f of 2n. Okay, so how do we prove this? We're actually going to prove this by mathematical induction. So we will proceed by mathematical induction. The base case here would be for n equals 1. So if n equals 1, we get f of 1, which is 1, and hopefully, and that's all I'm adding up, right, just the first one. Hopefully that's f of 2 times 1, which is f of 2, and it is. So the theorem holds for n equals 1. Okay, so that's my base case. Now I need my induction hypothesis. And I have another video going over this in more detail if you need it. The induction hypothesis says that we get to suppose that f of 1 plus f of 3 all the way up to f of 2n, and I'm going to use k here, f of 2k minus 1 equals f of 2k for n trapped between negative, uh, trapped between 1 and k. What we need to do now is to show that if I add, if I go to the k plus 1th instance of this statement, that it still works. I'm going to say thus, f of 1 plus f of 3 all the way up to f of 2k minus 1 plus the next one, which would be f of 2k plus 1, is f of 2k plus f of 2k plus 1, right? Because all I did, I took my equation earlier and I just added the same term to both sides, so I still have equality. Okay, now how does that help me to add that term? Well, on the left hand side I have exactly what I wanted for my formula, and on the right hand side I have f of 2k and f of 2k plus 1. So, I mean, what do I do with that? Well, don't forget, I mean, what are the Fibonacci numbers? They follow this rule. The previous two add up to the next one. So f of 2k plus f of 2k plus 1. Those are two in a row. When they add up, you get the next one in the sequence, which is f of 2k plus 2, which is exactly what we were hoping to show. That's what we needed. So we can just finish up by saying, therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, the summation that we needed works. This is a quick and easy example of the Fibonacci sequence. There are tons of them out there. If you need any help, I'd be glad to help. I hope induction makes sense. It's a very powerful tool to know. I, again, I have a video going over it in more detail with, with other examples. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And thank you for watching.